Hey everybody, uh, 15 hours a day, 10 days in a row, $100,000 and we finally built it. The biggest backyard ninja course ever. Hey lady, how are Hello. you today? I'm doing well, thank you. There are a bunch of people and there I think... There are a lot of people. And what should we do first? Covid test, everybody. Okay, let's go back in the morning. It's not that early, usually it's 6.30, 5.30 or even 4.30. I mean, usually we get up this early to start building, but last night we went to bed at like 3 o'clock. I need food, coffee and another... And Covid test. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Damn up. <laughs> I want one more. <laughs> you want one more? <laughs> Relax. It's it's fun. Yeah, it's not online test. Do you remember? Bad. <laughs> it's crying. I think it will be the best introduction uh, of every athlete. <laughs> it's better than coffee, right? Oh, it's good. Okay, I saw your 18.3, no, 18 foot, 3 inches, right? You throw. 18. So you, you are beat your record and now your world record holder, right? Yes. Yep. Uh, is it official? So Guinness got to me, but um, I'm gonna see if I can get another couple of inches before I send them my video evidence. So once Guinness sees your attempt, they'll reach out to you and they ask you for some more evidence and then you send that to them and then that's when they make it official. So nice. I'm gonna try and get a couple of more inches before I send them my video review just to... Just to so you wanna do like 18 uh, feet? Five inches or something like I mean, that? if I can hit 19, that'd be pretty cool. But at the very least, 18 six. So I'm 5'7". Seven. I'm 5'7". I've been practicing for the world record, I want to say since I started Ninja, so six years ago. Six years. Okay. Yeah, I've always been interested in doing the farthest lache. Morning, sir. <laughs> the COVID test is done, and now we're just waiting for results, and we have a couple hours. Uh, I wish we filmed some cool things because actually Kevin Backyards has the biggest backyard board pole is uh, right now 22 feet up and the truth we didn't even try it. Because the building. Yeah. <laughs> so let's wait for a COVID test and I hope everybody will be negative. Do you know how long it's going to take? A uh, couple hours. So four days, no rest, no sleep. I, s I saw you eating though, but <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. It's coming together great. You know, you spend a lot of time planning on the computer and then uh, for it to all come together in real life, you just kind of have to hope it looks good. And I'm really pleased so far. I think this is one of the most unique um, Ninja Warrior courses uh, anyone has ever had. I mean, it's surely one of the strongest, beefiest courses in the world. Uh, the course is very expensive. We're, we're looking at, you know, this beam alone is about seven hundred dollars and uh, there's quite a few large beams on the course they're all cedar they smell amazing they look amazing and um, it's it's just it's just a special unique build that okay take it as a price yes end of the day I throw it. <laughs> don't throw it. Where's this? Don't, don't throw it. We routed the corners of them so really soft and they're in the ground 42 inches with concrete. Yeah, we dig it super deep. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Cedar has really nice outdoor properties and so over time you can, you know, trust it to keep its shape and not twist and warp. It's good um, being outside. So also it is a little bit lighter. So as far as the construction, getting everything where we needed it to, to be, it was, it was better for it to be light. Um, we were able to move it into place. These prices uh, vary 
but roughly $500 up to $700, $800 per uh, post and beam. The longer spans were more money, and we had one you know, beam on this build, which the price was extremely high, and some specialized custom shipping had to go with it to, just to get it here because it's 32 feet long. So. <laughs> yeah, it was heavy, dude. <laughs> yeah, they used a boat trailer to bring it here and drove it themselves from, uh, I think it was Boone, North Carolina. Thank you to my sister, Kat, for uh, coming over here and, and helping with the build. She was able to keep everybody's spirits up. So nice. uh, you are great. part of the company too, right? Of course. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm the face of the company, really. Uh -huh. Do you have a microcraft or two? <laughs> 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 what are you working on? Putting the uh, pretty boards on. Pretty boards? Yeah. What's that? They're boards and they're pretty. Well, they are, uh, they are useful because you can stand on them um, to get up to the obstacles. So, so it's they, like a first step. It's like the first step, yeah. It's about day three now, non-stop building. It's been kind of hard to get some footage of what's been going on. But as you can see, we have the posts up. Um, they all have concrete in them, and that's the hardest part. So from here on out, we should be able to get a little bit more footage and, and move pretty smoothly. Nice. Uh, oh, what do you think about this aluminum bars? Super and sick. It's, it's got some <laughs> little give, so it gives you a little bit more spring out of your lache. The design's what's the coolest part, how it's all this is super adjustable. I mean, it takes you two seconds to change the distance of a lache. You can hang anything off of it, so. I mean, I'm also tweaking out on the colorway. Everything matching the house, I think that's kind of dope, so. <laughs> What do you think of this uh, super mega custom made C stick? First the deal, you get to wield this weapon to adjust and that's pretty sweet. <laughs> Second off, you also can use it to too beat far. Swanson with. Ah! <laughs> I'm pretty stoked on that. <laughs> Were you asking me what I think about the landing surface? Yeah, yeah. The we, landing we surface? Spent, like, I don't know, many hours to just drag this on the driveway. The oh, mulch. I believe it looks time consuming. It's great. I think it's recycled tire. It's super soft yeah. and absorbent. Yeah. And uh, if you're Ethan Swanson, you can throw backflips off of 12 foot yeah. high uh, gazebo over there. Okay, what do you think about this amazing rubber mold? Very soft. It's like landing on a pillow. <laughs> That's great. Here's your close up view of it. That's right. Shock absorbent. That's my answer. Okay. That's yeah. my answer. Shock no, absorbent. The whole the whole backyard is just straight <laughs> beef jerky. Before you say something about these things, yeah. If I have a nightmare of carrying these bags, I still will be thankful for guy who managed to make them light. Eight hundred to a thousand bags, and so maybe ten, ton, more than ten tons of rubber mulch, and that's not including these stones. These things are like 10 pounds each and we probably used 300 or 400 of them so it was quite the landscaping uh, feat to get this in place but we're talking six to eight inches of depth all the way around super soft you know you go to bed <laughs> it's actually it's actually a very nice touch it makes the course look so nice and clean this gazebo stone is amazing it looks so fancy it's a, it's a really nice tile, um, it's got a, a very quality finish to it and um, it matches the rest of the house and the rest of the stone around the pool. It's a good addition, you know, coupled with these cedars going right down, right through. I, I really like the tile and how it came out. Um, it matches the furniture out here really well. The whole goal out here was to feel like, you know, you're still hanging out at home, but you're away, just, you know, you're away from the home, but at home out here on the course because of this patio area. Coming out here soon is going to be a fireplace and possibly some appliances, maybe a refrigerator and a grill. You really want to feel like home, away from home, at home. It's one more yay for today. <laughs> yay! <laughs> yay! The so, painting work made by Nico. Do it, Connect it. <laughs> yeah, all the painting. Oh, yeah. All the painting. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, kind of experienced, so. I'm glad we had that sprayer, though, because if I had to do everything with a roller, I'll still be painting it. When you're pulling do it. Now, be serious. Shoot the butt up. You have to release the bar. You, you have to release the bar. <laughs> Don't push. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It's a little bit of like a booty pop. Go into a ballerina spin. Whoa. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>
<laughs> 270. Yeah. <laughs> you made 270. It's like progress. Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the first 360 make for me. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, but don't let the bar go. I need the bar. Come on. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Did you see the bar? Yeah. What's that, Nico? I want to link them. Yeah. Wow. Link it. Link it. I always feel that those bars are a little bit more slippery than I'm used to, um, which is concerning for me because I like this go real high and I like to go real fast. I usually like to keep more of a relaxed grip. On these bars, you gotta grip hard. You gotta grip, you gotta grip it tight. So, it's a little bit different for me. But I do like the flex. The flex is a nice little nice little adjustment. I do like that. Gives you that little bit of spring. Yeah, they load you. Yeah, it load loads you up a little bit. I don't mind it. Ooh, look at that. They're doing some challenges now. Do yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Quick change, Lachaise. Yeah. Makes it uh, convenient and uh, lachets are so important for kids to learn and grow on so if it takes a lot of time to adjust the distances between the bars then you're never going to do it. That's why it's, it's really nice to have a system that's fast and easy um, and I think this, this you know checks all those boxes. <laughs> So we spent almost $4,000 on all the climbing holds. Um, a big part of Ninja Warrior is grip strength and like hanging and swinging between obstacles. So cliffhanger with like static stuff like that and swinging on the cannonballs is like very good practice for the show. So we got all these white holds to go on the rig and all those cliffhangers we got a ton of custom made. Um, doorknobs for ring toss. That's a technical obstacle where if you make a slight mistake they can like slide off. So stuff like that is just really good. Easier obstacles for like kids to train on and then this cliffhanger we got some two inches to one and a half inches to one inches at the end so they can like make progressions as they go across and it's just a lot of good stuff to be able to use for a home gym like this. That, nice, nice, great, great job. It's kind of easy for kids to climb up uh, using the handles and using the actual pole. <laughs> so it looks like here we have a very nice touch, right? Mm -hmm. How did you come up with this idea? Well, I just saw these hanging off, hanging off the side of the rig and we were gonna cut them, but I was just like, if I was a kid and I had this rig, I'd, I'd probably want a cool swing with this extra space we have, so. We found these awesome swings. I kind of want these in my house now because yeah. So original cool. original design was that we have a set solid corner here, but the company bring the extra wood, and we decide to use them as yeah. a swing. Yeah, these are super comfortable. I love them. I wish <laughs> I, I wish I had them in my house. I might put them in my car or something. <laughs> well, I wish I have a house, but it's a different story. <laughs> Jake, what do you think about these nice touches? So we put the gazebo next to the work wall and make it look so nice and chill. I mean, the whole course looks so nice and chill. That paint job, <laughs> kidding me? No, it's awesome. I think it's great. The pant spectator area. You got the parents' uh, lounge area so they can sit back and tip, tip a cold one back and watch their kids shred. Fire pit over there will be so cool. <laughs> yeah, when the temperature drops, that's going to be real nice. Does the winter here is like... It's, Huh? It's not really winter. Let's oh. be real. I grew up in South Dakota. That's winter. I'm from Russia. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. <laughs> I have no idea what to do. You just asked me to, to lower the, all the holds, right? Yes. You want to lower, right? Yeah. So we're going to be swapping this out actually for an electric winch, but we wanted to test the system and make sure that uh, all the cables and pulleys would all work out. Um, it allows you to lower and raise the holds. You got little kids, big kids, adults, everybody can come out here and uh, swing around and at the right height. This system looks brutal. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a pretty, I don't want to say the word ghetto, but pretty ghetto system. It yeah. allows you to stand on the ground. And the goal is to have a, a, a nice button out here to come over yeah, here. Yeah. We just want to do some stuff that hasn't been done before. Being innovative is my favorite you know, thing to do when it comes to Ninja and just life in general. I like to think outside the box. Well, it's more well, fun. I can tell you that you're great at it. 
Thank you. <laughs> yay. <laughs> no, it's too yay in a row. It's too 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 much. We have never too many yay. <laughs> That's true. Nice, easy. That's definitely too easy for her, so we're gonna have to add some more grips going up the wall. But inside the wall, we have grips. Really? Yeah. It's a little hedge. It is actually the ladder that goes all the way up, but it is secretly the door. It's all the holds, extra holds. And oh, this is mulch. I hate this bag so much. But the guy who made it light, like respect. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, like the ninja community is so close and so tight. I think COVID is really tough because like some of my closest friends, I feel like I haven't been able to see or hang out with. And yeah. Because of uh, this guy and this family, we've been able to come out and like be around each other. And it's just good, good vibes, positive community and everybody's having a, a blast being around each other and being safe, of course, you know, all getting tested and everything. But So long story short, never quit, never give up, uh, build new, create and uh, just stay safe, healthy, positive and do something cool. Yeah, the only <laughs> other thing is subscribe to this guy if you're not already. Yeah, it would be helpful. <laughs> Maybe not. They, they know, they always know better. And actually, if you check out the Ethan Instagram, he do like every day one back flip. And what number are you right now? Today is gonna be day 844. 844, and uh, yeah, if you guys look at in the future, probably he already make a world record or something. <laughs> so he's know. working on it. At the thousand point, he's going to do a thousand back flips and 24 hours yep. window. So right? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna attempt, and we'll see. 4, 844. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, <Nice. laughs> Okay. If I don't hear at least five yays today, five yays, five yays. <laughs> okay, man, be a okay. big disappointment. Uh, okay. this whole trip. I'll give you one. We did the COVID test. Yay! Yay. <laughs>